Hello, hello. Thank you for joining us on another daily video. Mm -hmm. In today's video, we're going to be taking you guys into Dubrovnik. Last week we headed there and we're only just getting around to putting this video out. Make sure you stick around to the end because we've read in a few places that people think Dubrovnik is overhyped. And considering this is our second time going now, we'll be able to give you a pretty honest opinion at the end about what we think about it. Yeah, that sounds good. But let's get stuck into our lovely day out. Uh, I've decided to try something a bit new and doing a bit of a mini bun. Guys, we're going out in public today, so we've got to like put in the moisturizer and all. I'm trying to look like civilized humans. What do you think? Let me see. Oh no! <laughs> hey guys, oh, why are you so we're going cute? to Dubrovnik. <laughs> Today we are finally heading off to Dubrovnik. The weather has cleared up a little bit. It's nice and sunny looking so fingers crossed we get a good day out in the city. Yeah, we've been super excited just to get out, get away from the van as well and just explore some of Croatia. We came to Dubrovnik in our 20s and we've... What do you mean? We're still in our 20s? <laughs> yeah, I wish. Shit, no, I don't man. wish. That's a we sobering thought. much better people in our 30s, I believe. No. So we're not going to do the wall today, so because we've already done that, it's like 40 quid now, which is crazy. So we're going to see what we can do for free. We're going to bring you guys along, then we're going to spend all the money that we saved on eating food. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds good. For context, we have parked in a campsite while we're here because last time we were here in a car, the parking was extortionate. It'd be even worse in the van, so we've just paid 15 euros for a campsite. The van's safe. We're going to catch the bus from outside here, so we'll bring you guys on the bus with us. Let's go! Come on, pressure's on. I haven't caught a bus in so long and I feel panicked. <laughs> no, I'll do that. Okay. You take this. Right. This door's got a knack to it. Don't go anywhere. Now jump and click your feet together. I was thinking that. Oh, there we go. That was so good. <laughs> so synchronized. Yeah, no. Right, I'm going to start recording to it again. Can I? <laughs> <laughs> Did you get a creak in your neck? First stop for us, as always, was a little vegan spot for a coffee and some lunch. Even though the food was delicious, as with everything in Dubrovnik, the price reflects the rich tourism industry here. And now that we're energised, off to explore the old town. Apart from Old Town itself, one of the most beautiful things Dubrovnik has to offer is its waters. Yeah, big boy. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Attacked. If you don't mind spending a little bit of money, you can get boats from only 10 euros and they take you just outside of Dubrovnik around a couple of the neighbouring islands. And another way to enjoy these waters is to rent a kayak and that way you can see it a bit more independently. Our number one recommendation to enjoy the waters around here would definitely be wild swimming. You can swim amongst these rocks at the bottom of the old town walls and I really wish we knew this because we definitely would have brought our swimmers. Luckily walking around Dubrovnik itself is free and you can admire all the beautiful stonework and these quaint little alleyways but we thought we'd go check the price of the wall just in case anyone out there is interested in doing it. It's literally 200 coin, that's like 23 pound. Just for one adult getting that wall, it's mad. Madness, I tell you. I do actually recommend to do the wall if you, if you don't mind spending some money as well. Mm -hmm. 
Kaylee's going in to the Christmas store. Uh, yeah, baby, only 73 days. I gotta get my, my Christmas prep going. Hey, Jit. Hey, Nick. So, obviously, the main thing about Dubrovnik is the old town. So, you can see old town is all in here, and this is the wall that people can like walk along. Um, but just around here. Boo! <laughs> just above old town, about a 15 minute walk, is this park. I'll bring you guys in, see if it's worth the 15 minute walk uphill. I imagine so. Already, I'm like, you could bring a pack lunch and sit here. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, I'll follow home. Golden, 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 golden things. Oh, you guys are so cute! Oh, I love it. <laughs> For miles in spring, rainbow trout and hummingbird wing. So there you have it. We got home safe. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, it was a really lovely day. And it is super beautiful. Like, there's no denying the old town's gorgeous. The waters all around it are gorgeous. Like, it really is visually very pleasing. Yeah, it's pretty spectacular. So because we've been twice, we thought we'd talk about both of our experiences in Dubrovnik. And when we came back in our 20s, we'd planned to come for a few days and we ended up showing up early in the morning, parking, and we did the walls and it was really beautiful and everything. And we appreciated how beautiful it was, but it was really expensive. It was really busy because it was the height of summer pre-COVID and we just didn't get really good vibes from it back then. So we ended up actually leaving after a few hours mm -hmm. but now that we're back in our 30s we thought let's give this place another shot maybe we were just young and stupid and we want to actually give it the time it deserves to see if it's as wonderful as everyone says it is what's your perception like now from it oh i feel that it is still like super touristy and with all the game of thrones stuff it's monopolized on that a lot more so I'm not actually surprised because it is a restored old town and its main attraction is tourism, mm -hmm, yeah. you know, is to come and see the old town. So that's why every other shop is a Game of Thrones mm -hmm. or just a Dubrovnik or Croatia souvenir shop. So with all of that said, I do recommend people still to come to Dubrovnik to appreciate its sights and to just be aware of the costs associated with that too. Just so that you're not taken off guard if you sit down for a coffee and it costs you 10 quid. It literally costs five pound for a Coke, for mm. a small bottle of Coke. That is obviously extortionate and that should not should never be <laughs> a thing. But like we did go to like a sunset bar. So if you're trying to save money on it, just make sure you bring a packed lunch, bring your own drinks and you can see it for reasonably cheap. If you um, go south from Dubrovnik, it takes you along a coastal road and up towards the cable cars that go down into Dubrovnik. And the sights there are beautiful. You can look down on all of the old town and all of the surrounding islands. And there's also a couple of places that you can wild camp around there that we spent a couple of nights with other people. Good vibes. So, to end that all, do we think Dubrovnik is overhyped? Yes and no. no. <laughs> <laughs> so take from that what you will. We still really, really enjoyed it, but obviously there's upsides and downsides of everything. Yeah. It's definitely worthwhile once. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys. Thank you so much for watching our random Dubrovnik video. Let us know what you think of it if you've been there before. And see you tomorrow. Yeah. Bye. See you later.